Hi guys, welcome to my glass of happiness. My name is Kansi Mehan, your ninja girl. And I'm laughing because you won't believe what I've decided to talk about today. Love. <laughs> Let's talk about love, baby. Let's talk. Is it love? They usually put some other words that start with other letters, but today I want us to talk about love. A while ago, when I believe I truly didn't know much, there's someone who told me, Okay, as hurt, as really hurt. You know, your heart is broken. You use the liver, they break it. You use the lungs, they break them. Like, all your body parts inside, you've used them to love and you're running out of what to use, you know? As really heartbroken. And someone told me something that I don't think I understood then. They said that for you to truly love yourself, you need to learn how to, no. For you to truly love someone else, you need to learn how to love yourself. Now, I, you know these days we have friends who are very sexually fluid. They, they are they either like guys or they like women or they like both of them together or they are looking the other side or they love a goat or they love with this. These days love, you don't put labels. So this is the kind of person I was talking to. I was not in Uganda as far, far away. And then I didn't understand them when they said that I should learn how to love myself. I started deep thinking. I dove in thoughts, dived in a thought. And I said, yeah, what do they mean when they say they want me to love myself? Of course, my mind wondered, what will I do to myself? What am I going to prove myself into? How will I pleasure myself? That's where my head went. It's now that I, with time, I think I've grown to really love myself. There's a time I had reached and I was so broken and indeed finding a way to love and understand myself and accept myself is the only thing I had going. Or if someone said something about me, I happen to be in a position where people say things. Like someone recently said, I sold my uterus. It was, you know, it, it was said in passing, a reason as to why my first marriage ended, and it really hurt so much. I found myself deciding to be depressed. And by the way, these things are choices. Someone says something about you, and you choose to cling on to it. You hold on to it and it covers every other good thing that happens. So I was really feeling down. I'm like, how does someone sit down and say, I am going to talk about how unsold her uterus. Really? Did you buy it? How much? Where do they sell them? I believe that even people want to sell and want to know the market, share the market. as really hard anyway. But how I recovered from that, I made a deliberate effort to fall in love with myself. You guys, I love myself. I wish YouTube could allow us to upload videos of 45 minutes and I still have your attention like this. I'll tell you how I've learned how to love myself. You know, I'm very intentional with everything that I do, the people I surround myself with. And I'm not afraid to lose or make new friends. At 33 years old, I am grateful that I decide when I go to bed and when I wake up. So I'm in love with myself so much that the people I, sur I surround myself with tell you a little bit about how much I love myself. Anyone that makes me happy, please welcome. So you guys who sit, put toothpicks in your mouth and start judging why someone is with someone. Try putting a mirror and look at yourself, you know? Revise your... I have friends that are truly unhappy. We've shared stories. And the only thing I can tell them is to be honest with themselves and do themselves a favor and love themselves. Because at the end of the day, when you pretend through this life, you're the only one who's going to enter your house, open, close that door and be alone, sad. You'll be the only one crying under that shower. No one will be there with you. You'll be the only one saying, ah, me, go, keep us goals. You take a selfie 56 times. It's the same face, same direction. But there's an angle you are looking for. You have one face. So stop saying I have a good side and it's your face. So love yourself, love all of it so that if a camera catches an angle you don't agree with, love it because it's you they are showing, you know. I've really fallen so much in love with myself that I want to share it with you people. When was the last time you saw me with natural hair out posing? <laughs> I used to call it pubic hair. This hair is so beautiful. It's now public, it's for the whole world to see. I want to put a flag here, paint here black, you know, red, and then put... I've had people judge me for putting black lipstick. Be very careful, eh? Hmm? When your lips are cracking in Kasana and you have not put lip balm, I don't be pointing at you. Bla if it's what makes me happy, let it be, guys. Just love yourself and do not compromise when it comes to what you want to do to make yourself happy. Because when you love yourself, the people around you will be the ones who make you love yourself. They'll be the ones who make you happy. You don't surround yourself with fake people. Fake people, God is watching me. Fake people.
recently I've been doing several interviews, especially in Nairobi, and uh, actually East Africa, Nairobi, Dar es Salaam, Mombasa, Rua, uh, Chigali, even here, because we've been going around for East Africa's Got Talent, and I'm the host, <laughs> and I always put adverts right in there. You'll never get used. Okay, anyway, so I've been traveling, so I end up doing interviews, because they're asking me, when is it starting to show, you know, and someone sneaked in a personal question. They asked me whether my career, or how busy I was, or what I was doing in my professional life was the reason why my previous marriage ended. And it quickly got me to a point where I needed to point out for those people that they were asking me if my shine was too much for my partner. And it gets me to a point where I would like to tell you, say Anne said, told me, say I will not listen to you because Anne told me this in her glass of happiness. If you find yourself having to dim your light to make the people around you comfortable, my friend, you're in the wrong company. You know, because I, I, I believe that your light should be able to illuminate others, you know, to make everything around you brighter, happier, change the lives of the people around you by them seeing you. Be happy, love yourself, teach the world how to love you. I believe I'm being loved by the best because they are seeing how I love myself. You know, they copy notes from you. So today I was talking about love to try and put tape on you people who want to explain other people's feelings. How can you, if, you think God was stupid when he hid his heart, uh, his heart, our hearts and thoughts away from human beings? You can never know what someone feels for someone else till you're there. Abaganda bagambanti kubagalana tosa yo chicho that where two people love themselves, may you please mind your own business because it's two people that have loved themselves. So I have so many questions coming in my inbox all the time asking about my current boyfriend who I've chosen to love. You people, stop putting me under pressure. I am loving myself and enjoying with whom I'm sharing myself. You get? And it's my, it's my right. I am 33. I know I keep saying this. I'm 33. I've known one president. I am very happy. I have made a deliberate decision to love myself to intentionally pick the people that I surround myself with or share myself with, the people I put around so that they can learn how I love myself and they love me like that. So be very careful before you start pointing fingers and thinking you can advise someone who they should be with. I know I've risked, but I hope if you watch this video, I hope you've subscribed to Can See Me Anne on YouTube. We are going to be a big family of 1 million by the end of the year. Can you believe it? We gather over 20,000 subscribers per month. I'm not joking. Actually, I think it's 23 or 24. So you, my ninjas, are knocking my subscription button like a problem. You might wear it out. But subscribe. Feel free. Can I sing for you so that you subscribe? Subscribe. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching.